dead set my favourite track in all of Australia. Oh my god, this thing is an animal! Go to the Kev track, they said. It'd be great, they said. It's a very cool track, they said. The rain now is just going to make it slippery as hell. Friggin' slippery. Holy shit. Obviously, when we start to get a little bit of slipperiness, the, the trick is you've got to sort of try and bang, try and drive into the, into the embankment on either side. So not enough so that you start to turn sideways and then you can roll, you've got to be real careful. It gets easier up there, doesn't it, Jase? No. We've got to come up with a different game plan because what's happening is every time we're stopping, there's the problem. Once we get momentum, we just got to keep going and going and going until you're going down. Yeah. Because otherwise we're going to be living here. Well, we're going to stay in here tonight anyway. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to be living here. Getting a little bit worried now. We know the track. See, so I know the track that it's like, it's a gnarly track. And the fact that it's got water on it and rain and now it's slippery and it's like, yeah, now a little bit concerned now. Just keep moving forward. There's no point going back. Going back is not an option. <laughs> oh my God, look, I'm shaking. <laughs> this is just next level. It's supposed to be dry as a bone this time of year. You got this, Maxie. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> this is the last hill, Simon. Oh, it's steep. Steep as. Oh, no! Holy shit. You did the right thing, bud. You yeah. You did the right thing, mate. Oh, oh, oh! oh. 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 All right, Jess. Man down! Jesse, are you all right? Jesse! Hey, Jesse! Jesse, you all right? Jesse, you there, Jesse. mate? Jesse! Yeah, I'm all right. Holy shit, airbags and everything. Did the airbag get you? Yeah, it all went on. Holy shit. You all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I feel really bad for Jace. <laughs> right? Jeez, that was really heavy, eh? <laughs> I tried everything in my power, like, to... You alright? Yeah, I'm all good. I just I just wrote your car off, mate. <laughs> just keep it going, keep it going, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop. There we go. We got it. We got it, mate. Nice work. No! <laughs> you gotta be shitting me! That's unbelievable. It goes. I can't believe it runs still. I don't know what these are. Well, what they're going to do with these, I know what they are, but I don't know what they're going to do with these. Let me switch that, that thing off because it still rumbles. This is the, uh, these are the airbags. Look at these things. I've never seen an airbag blown up. That's what it looks like. We cut them off, by the way, because they come out of here. That's where they deployed from in this joint here. I think you can smell the gunpowder still. There they are, the airbags, right? We just literally had to cut them out of the way because you couldn't see. What you don't do to a $300,000 car, <laughs> tear out the airbags from the pocket knife. <laughs> yeah, there's one there. There's another airbag. Look at that, that's a full, let me get it. A full length airbag, goes in here, like this. That way. Look at that thing. I wonder poor old Jesse was got a shock, man, because this just like exploded on both sides of his car when he rolled it. Have a look at the state of this car. Like, so, so basically I'm here 
This is sitting beside, parked beside my shed because I dragged it all the way home from up north. I don't know, um, all the way from top end of Australia back home. And um, it's still, it's still got the footprints and still got the dirt on the, on the seat covers and the mud is still inside the cab. Look at all the doors just coated in mud. Yeah, I'm all right. Because remember, the car was upside down when Jesse crawled out of it. And I can't believe it, I just, it's been sitting here since I got it back. And I just, again, I just started it. Look at that, watch it, watch this. Look at that. The display works. Oh, the bonnet. I can't get that bonnet light to fix. It's still saying that my bonnet's up, but it's not, it's down. Uh, anyway, the engine light's on. The few bits and pieces, but that's about it. Like it says, restraints activated, service required. That's what this will be here. Look at this, so the seat belt, that's it, that's the seat belt. And what happens is when the car rolls over, the seat belt just locks up has like this little charge that goes off and locks the seat belt when it was sitting here so that you don't get any movement in it. How cool is that? Because have a look on the other side. Come and have a look at this. Look at that seat belt, that seat belt. Look at that. You cannot move that seat belt. It is, look at it, it's even strained. That's, look. How cool is that? So there was no passenger and the seat belt is just taut as. All the hood lining stuffed. Look at this poor thing. Oh, look at that, that's all stuff, the sidestep. There's a couple of little dints here, there's like a bit of a dint here. I started pulling some stickers off it um, so that, you know, people wouldn't recognize it. And we put some tape on here on the mirror. So the mirrors, put some tape on there. So we, when I was driving out, or when Jesse was driving out actually, it, um, he could see in the mirror, see what was going on. But that's all right, that, that'll buff out. That'll buff out. And then here was a snorkel apparently. So, cause it come with twin snorkels, there was a snorkel here, but it literally got squashed flat. I don't even know where the snorkel is. I, I think it disappeared. I'm not even sure. But yeah, there's just, I think with a little bit of panel beaten. For some reason, it seems to have this really horrible lean on it like even though it's leaning at the moment because it's in the gully but it seems to be leaning to one side really badly and i don't i don't know what that is but yeah look if i straighten the if i straighten the, the spotlights up that'll be right and the aerial it's just it's like one of them little short aerials now see just a little short one Oh, you're not going to like something, though. You've broken the aerial. Did you break the aerial? He broke the friggin' aerial. He does it every time. Oh, my God. I might be able to replace this one. You broke the <laughs> aerial. Well, I did always want a stumpy aerial, so. And the bull bar, well, you can see here where there's a big crease in here. It didn't break it, but yeah, it's got like a big twist and a buckle in it. The grill's all right, this, the grill looks good. This little bit round here is, you know, just a little bit of, bit of straightening, I reckon. I'll push that in, I reckon it'll be good. It's a little, like I, I don't have the clearance I used to here. But I reckon if we, you know, a bit of adjustment. And this snorkel, well, we had to tie that up because it's not really connected anymore to anything. Is it actually even? No, nah, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like it actually snorkels anymore. The windscreen's a little bit busted to look through it. But, you know, that could be all right. And the roof rack's still on. Let's have a look at the roof rack. It was like, Act like a roll cage, old roof rack. I think just a little bit of adjustment there too would be good. The max tracks didn't fall off. The light bars are still good. I, I didn't, I haven't washed it yet, by the way. I still got, I still got the mud 
from up north on there, but that's all right. We don't worry about that. None of the windows. I noticed none of the windows got smashed, but they're still good. Even the door still opens. There we go, look at that. The door still opens. It's a bit muddy inside, but, you know, it's a little bit muddy. See the old snorkel just got torn out here. It's got ripped out. Oh, and yeah, of course the airbags went on this side as well. That door open seems to open all right. Wow. Look at the back, it actually looks clean in the back. That was full of gear, by the way, when it went over. Yeah, yeah, still closes, this goes good. And you can see like it's all bent in here and all this all in here is just all munched and all the door jams are all jammed in here. There's dints and stuff. Side steps are still good. It's got a bit of mud on them. We can get rid of that. The tires are still up. Rims and tires are good. Yeah, we'll get that'll be good. Wonder what's um under what's look like under the bonnet. I can never get that thing up. Are the lights still working? I think the light still works when you when you press the button. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Indicator's still working. But still working real well. Real good. Have a look down here, the shovel's still there. Oh no, the shovel did break off. That mount there did break off, so we had to cable tie the shovel on. Oh, and that side's all bent as well, so when it ran over, it's just smacked this side and then smacked the other side. Oh, there's a little crack in the mirror here, but I reckon if we can get a little, we can replace that. That's all right, we'll replace that. And then, and then there, yeah, the, 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 the Sunseeker Rhino Rack's sort of a bit, the brackets are a little bit, how you going? The canopy took a, took a good hit. Let's have a look in the canopy. There we go. It looks brand new in here. Absolutely brand new. How good's that? Oh, look, I've still got 82% in my batteries. See that? Look at that. Light still works. 82% in my batteries. The inverter's still there. The speaker systems are all still there. Mate, this thing, it's still pretty good. The door opens and closes. What else is there? Oh, yeah, there's heaps of mud and crap on the back, but. The rooftop tent took a bit of a munching. Yeah, it's got a big dint in it on this side. Come here and have a look at it. I'll show you. So yeah, there's a big, there's a big dint in here. A massive dint. But my rooftop tent did open and I got to sleep in it. So even though it's all dinted and the awning was is all busted and hanging off. But I reckon, I reckon with a little bit of buffing and we could probably buff it out. It's not that bad, is it? I can't believe it still goes. Tough truck. Oh well, we're not really sure what's gonna happen from here, but uh, I'm not really good at panel beating, so I'm not gonna have a crack at the panel beating. Maybe we'll get someone else to do that job. All the suspension at the back here is good. Oh yeah, that, I think the exhaust systems nearly fell apart. Yeah, look at that, that's all hanging off. And, oh, I think it, that's not good at all, that bit. I think it might have snapped off somewhere up the front there, <laughs> around where the engine is. Yeah, not looking too happy under there. Sounds good. The exhaust system sounds really good. Let me grab a stick, I'll open it up. Just need a stick. I've got to use this to open the bonnet. It's my special bonnet opening tool. Let me pull the bonnet. Okay. Oh 
yes. Oh shit. <laughs> Got it. Now I know how to open it. It's sort of half working. We just gotta use this. That ain't gonna work. All right, have a look under the bonnet here. Yeah, it seems to be, a, it's a little bit smashed in here. Those lights aren't, the lights are all cracked and split in here and it's all pushed in. All the subframes been shoved in on both sides. Yeah, it's not happy, not happy in there. It's gonna take a little bit more buffing on that one. This side's the same. Crunched in here as well, split all the lights. Looks like this radiator's copped a flogging through here. All the mounts look like they're, they're under tension. Yes. It seems to be all good. There's a bit of oil over the engine and stuff. Like, that doesn't mean anything. That's all good. Don't need to worry about that. We can just wash that off. So yeah, it, um, I think it survived really, really well, considering it uh, copped an absolute flogging, the bonnets. Bonnet won't stay up. Oh, maybe that's why. There you go, look at that. Fixed it. That's just broken off. Oh, well, maybe. No, I just fixed that too. I reckon I can fix this car. Give me a couple of days, I'll fix her up. Windscreen washer bottle holds water. I think we're good. We'll be back on the road in no time. Uh, well, that's the aftermath of, um, yeah, probably one of the worst, the worst rollovers we've had on uh, All for Adventure in uh, 16 years. I think Simon, Simon rolled one on its side there. Everyone's probably seen that years and years ago, but this here would have to be the worst. And poor old Jesse, I think he was a little bit rattled on this one. Holy shit, was that scary? Pretty scary, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. God damn, I'm just processing what's just happened because it happened real quick. We saw, yeah. we, we, we saw the whole thing, we watched it. I was going down, like I didn't touch the brakes. I was gripping in, gripping in. As soon as I lost traction, uh, it just took off like a... Yeah. The big heavy car shoved you fully sideways, I saw it. Yeah, he's hit that embankment yep. and then just launched. I actually thought I might have pulled it back together then, but as soon as I went too far from that embankment, it just spat me over quicker than I could even blink. Holy shit. <sighs> holy shit, holy shit. This is bad. This is proper. This is proper. It's, petrol. it's a petrol car too and it's upside down, which is not great either. It's real hard. But I'll tell you what, it's a very safe car. Airbags going off and stuff like that. Could have been worse, could have caught on fire. That would have been really bad. We were a little bit concerned about that. Holy shit. It's been too long upside down, you're not gonna start it. We're just lucky that the battery's not shorting out and there's not fuel pissing out everywhere. Yeah, very lucky. Don't stress too much, mate. You're all right. That's all that really matters. Insurance will cover that shit. Oh, I'm all right. I just, just wrote me <laughs> mate's truck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's like, wow, that's, that's heavy. next level. But no, it didn't catch on fire. The fuel tank, that long-range fuel tank did its job because it's got an aftermarket tank in it. It didn't do anything and didn't leak any, any fuel. We didn't smell any fuel leaking out. That's good. So... I mean, all in all, I think this car copped a beating and kept on ticking. But I guess we'll see what the insurance guy says. Maybe he won't might have seen me on television or anything, and he won't even know. Like, trust me, he won't even know this vehicle, and he'll be just like, oh, man, that, that's got to suck. Your, your pride and joy getting rolled over, and um, yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he won't even know. He won't even know who or what or when. He won't even know, it'll be perfect. The insurance guy won't even know. Nope, that's not me, I'll say. I think you're mistaken me for somebody else who, um, 
Put that bit in there. We don't need that bit. Let's put some fuel in this sucker. <laughs> Takes unleaded, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, camera's working. Camera's still working. Just my mirrors. Yeah, mirrors are still good. Oh, this one. Yeah, look at that. Mirror still works. Feels like it's. Feels like that low low on that corner. Maybe that's just in the adjust. Maybe I got to. Oh, the aircon's working. Maybe I just got to adjust it. It's a bit of rubbing going on there. That's what that noise is. Rubbing. Rubbing's racing, they reckon. Sounds all right. Lock the rear diff. Wonder if that works. Yeah, that's working. Holy crap, everything is working. Where's traction control? There's a button here for traction control somewhere. Where are you, traction control? That's air conditioning. I'll turn the air conditioning. There it is. Traction control. Yep. I didn't know it was the most awesome donut because I wouldn't have done it. I haven't done a donut in this thing. This thing does the most awesome donuts with the diff lock on, rear diff locked, traction control off. Even all the paddle shift still works. Mate, this would be an awesome paddock basher. Maybe that's why I need to build it. I build a paddock basher out of it. Oh, I'm going to go take it up the top of the shed there, just in case I do any damage to it, you know. I don't want to damage it, but like, I wouldn't want to put a dint on it or anything like that. I'd definitely be in trouble then. So yeah, I better look after it and take it back to the shed. Introducing the home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of four-wheel driving, fishing, touring, rig builds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Hope the airbags take up. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show, All For Adventure. Get me out of here, boys. Water's coming in. Unleashed. Oh, that's tight. And more original series from Jace and the team. In this mini-series, we're going to be exploring some of the most remote coastlines. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. Snappers, mate, this is all going on down here. You it? can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Yeah! That's why Unleashed TV oh, yeah. is the home of Australian adventure. Not washing it. He got it. He smoked it. Oh, 